This video demonstrates how to generate a C-sharp object model from an XML schema using liquid XML objects. First, we will need an XML schema. We will use the bookstore XSD. This describes a simple bookstore with a collection of books and each book has a price, a title, etc. From the tools menu, we can select the option generate code. This will launch the liquid XML data binding wizard and pre-select our XML schema. The next page allows us to select the option to generate a Visual Studio project and select options such as generate sample usage code. The next page allows us to select options which influence how the code is generated. The default is to generate a simplified model. This is the easiest model to get started with. For more complex schemas, you may wish to choose a more complex object model. The final page allows us to generate the code. When the code has been generated, Visual Studio opens and we can see our generated project. This contains the Bookstore XSD. Under the Bookstore XSD, we can see the generated C -sharp source code. This includes the root element, Bookstore Elm, which is of type Bookstore Type Complex Type. Bookstore type complex type contains a collection of books. This is represented by a simple list. Each book is of type book type complex type. This contains the attributes we saw before, such as price and child elements such as title and author. A sample usage file is also generated showing how to read and write XML data into our object model using the LX serializer. We will now add a simple console application to demonstrate reading, updating and writing XML using our object model. We will set the console application to be the startup project and add a project reference to our bookstore library. We will also need to add a reference to the liquid XML objects runtime. This can be done using the Nugget Package Manager. As you can see, there is already a reference to the runtime from our library. First we will demonstrate reading XML into our object model. We will need to add a using reference to Liquid Technologies XML objects and also to the bookstore. We also use system.io. Firstly, we create a simple XML document which is compliant to the bookstore XSD. We will then use the LX serializer with the strongly typed Bookstore Elm class. The deserialize method will load the XML into our object model. The root of the object model is our Bookstore element. This has a collection of books. If we iterate through these books, we can see the various properties on each book object. If we run the console app, we can see the XML data that is stored within our object model. We can now modify the data held in our object model. This code creates a new book type complex type and adds it to the book's collection. As you can see, the properties are all strongly typed. 
Now if we rerun the console app, we can see the new book that we have added. We can now write out our object model, again using our LX serializer class. We will use a string writer and write it out to the console. As you can see, Liquid XML Objects provides a simple way to read in, update and write out your XML data from a strongly typed object model. For more information, please see our website. Thank you.